Hello everyone. Today we are going to study about the X in the microbiology. First of all, we are going to discuss about the X of Ascaris lumbricoids. There are mainly two types of X produced by Ascaris lumbricoids, which are the fertilized egg and the unfertilized egg. The fertilized egg are round to oval, which measures forty-five to seventy-five micrometer. And thirty-five to fifty micrometer, as you can see on the screen. In the diagram, you can see the fertilized corticated egg is covered by thick albuminous coat, while the unfertilized egg consists of thin albuminous coat. The fertilized corticated egg consists of an unsegmented ovum, while the unfertilized egg. consist of a trophied ovum there is a crescentric space also present in the fertilized egg now what's the difference between fertilized corticated egg and decorticated fertilized egg when the mammillated albuminous coat present in the fertilized corticated egg is removed then it is called decorticated fertilized egg now yes you can see in the microscopic view of the diagrams of egg unfertilized eggs are elongated and the size is given which has thin albuminous coat with a small atrophied ovum next we are going to discuss about the antamoeba histolytica antamoeba histolytica consists of trophozoites and cyst there is a form present before the cyst form which is known as precyst Trophozoite consists of pseudopodium and outer ectoplasm and the inner endoplasm. It has WBCs, RBCs, and various food vessels also present. It has a center nucleus known as central karyosome and the peripheral chromatin granules, which are fine granules. The precyst consists of single nucleus and the chromatin granules. The cyst present is in three forms, which are uninucleated cyst, binucleated cyst, and the quadrinucleated cyst. Uninucleated cyst consists of single nucleus with chromatoid body and glycogen mass. Binucleated cyst consists of two nuclei, whereas quadrinucleated cyst consists of four nuclei. Now, few details about the trophozoites. Trophozoites are present in the stool of actively infected person. They are not found in the stools of asymptomatic carriers. Whereas quadrinucleated cysts are present in the stool specimens of both patients with active infection and carriers. As we have said that the chromatoid bodies are the aggregation of ribosomes and glycogen mass are also present. Next, we are going to discuss about the Giardia lamblia. Giardia lamblia has a trophozoite and a cyst. Trophozoite is characteristically seen as present two sucking discs, two nucleus, and a central karyosome within each nuclei, and four pairs of flagella. and parabasal bodies there is this is this is the side view of the trophozoite now we are going to discuss about the cyst of the giardia lamblia cyst consists of an outer cyst wall an axonemy and there are four nuclei present the size of the trophozoite measures 10 to 20 micrometer in length and 5 to 15 micrometer in width it is pear shaped or tear drop shaped or tennis racket shaped and the most important it has a falling leaf like motility whereas the cyst of giardia consists of oval shaped measures 11 to 14 micrometer in length and 7 to 10 micrometer in width rest are discussed before Now we are going to discuss about the eggs of hookworm. There are mainly two types of hookworm, which are Ankylostoma duodenal or Old World hookworm, or Nicator americanus or New World hookworm. 
The eggs of hookworm are oval. It measures 62 to 40 micrometer, surrounded by thin egg cell. These are non bile stained. Further, we are going to discuss it later, which are the bile stained and non bile stained eggs. It has a segmented ovum present inside it, comprises of 4 to 32 blastomeres. There is a clear space between the egg cell and the embryo, as you can see here. And uh, eggs of both Ankylostoma duodenal and Necator americanus are morphologically indistinguishable. These are the microscopic view. Next is the egg of Trichuris trichura. The egg of the Trichuris trichura is barrel shaped with a size of 50 to 22 micrometer with mucus plugs at the end. These are the mucus plugs you can see. These are the virus tint. The shape of the adult worm is whip shaped and the size is 3 to 5 centimeter long. Anterior three fifth is thin, hair like, coiled like rope of a whip, and the posterior two fifth is short and thick. Next, we are going to discuss about the cystosoma. The eggs of the cystosoma mansoni measures 114 to 180 micrometer to 45 to 73 micrometer non operculated and have characteristic lateral spine as you can see in the diagram whereas the X of the japonicum is almost oval in structure relatively smaller than the egg of cystosoma mansoni and uh, it is it have sometimes present with rudimentary lateral spine here it may be present sometimes Next, we are going to discuss about the Hymenolepis nana. Eggs of H. nana are slightly oval, which has a size of 30 to 47 micrometer. Now, you can see in the diagram, there is two membranes present, an outer and inner membrane, four pairs of flagella, which may be four to eight in numbers. There are central hooklets, three in pairs. Yaw granules are also present within the outer membrane and the embryo also present. Now the characteristics of H. nana egg. Eggs are the infective form as well as the diagnostic form of the parasite. Next we are going to discuss about the eggs of the Tinea saginata and Tinea solium. There is main difference between that the eggs of the tinea saginata is acid first whereas the egg of the tinea solium is non acid first size being the same 31 to 43 micrometer. The egg of Entrobius vermicularis is plano convex that is one side is convex and the other side is flat. It measures about 50 to 60 micrometer long. It is embryonated egg that means it contains a tadpole shaped larva inside it. non bile stained egg and it floats on saturated soil solution. This is the diagram. Now we are going to discuss about the bile stained eggs and non bile stained eggs. Now bile stain eggs are the eggs which contains the lipid in their structure and while passing through the intestinal tract they have the receptors on their surface which takes the bile stain. Now bile stain eggs are eggs of following organism. These are Ascaris lumbricoids, T. 
टीनिया सोलियम टीनिया सचिनाटा एंड ट्राइक्यूरिस ट्राइक्यूरा वेर एस नॉल बाइनिस्टेड एक्स आर यू कैन रिमेम्बर इट पायट्रिक एन ई एच ए नेहा एंड फॉर निकेटेड अमेरिकन E for Anthropus vermicularis. H for Hymenolepis nana. And E for Ankylostoma duodenum. That's all. Thank you.